Today I want to show you how to go ahead and take the background image from anywhere where there's a background image. In this case I'm going to go ahead and take a background image from that font and I'm going to add it into my Illustrator because I don't want to install the whole font. Okay, let's go ahead and get to it. Let's go to, and select the font. I'm going to go ahead and select Fire and Ice. In here I have something that's called Blaze. Incidentally you should know that here you can type in what you want. In this case I want the word fire and then I want to submit. Then if I look at this I would go ahead and pick the one that catches my eye. I'm going to go ahead and choose this one. Click and it will show you all the font and it's derivative and an opportunity to download it. But in here I'm going to go ahead and just see this image because I only want this image. I don't want to install the whole font. To do so, I'm going to right click on my Mac. I'm going to go to Inspect Element. And then over here on the right hand side, it should show you the style sheet. This one happens to have a style sheet, so I'm going to go ahead and click on this link. Then right click on this and say Open Image in New Tab. This will give me the actual image URL. Now I can click on the image and say copy image, jump into Illustrator. Now that I'm in Illustrator, it's just a matter of copying what I have on my clipboard. So I go to the command key on my Mac and the letter V, that's the shortcut for pasting. And here it is. Now it's paste. Now I can go ahead and live trace it. So if I say that it is an ink drawing, I can go ahead and say that or text. Then I can live paint. And now I can go ahead and take this apart or modify it however I wish to modify it because it is now a drawing instead of the text or instead of an image. And that's how you go ahead and take a background image from Chrome into Illustrator.